It is not our fault. See, you're not listening, Kenny. We already said we are not This is your fault. Oh, please. Ronald Reagan knew about Oliver North. Thank you. This is no one's fault. Greg just needed some time to himself. Think about it, he spent his whole life pushing for other people's approval. Ah, so it is their fault. <laughs> because we tried to instill some values in our oh, son? Please, the corrupt values don't. of a morally yeah. degenerate yeah. society. Oliver yeah. yeah. North is an yeah. American, yeah. Hero. Yeah. American yeah. hero! Okay, super. I think we've heard from everyone, and I think that without assigning blame, we can understand why Greg needed some quiet time. <sighs> You're saying it's everybody's fault. Fine! Including Edward and Kitty. Abby? Larry? Look, we all have our way of taking a vacation, right? Abby, you meditate. Kitty and Edward, you go on your cruises. Larry, you also go away. <laughs> That's all Greg's doing. He's just gone someplace to recharge. Well, that makes perfect sense. Yes, I mean, I couldn't get through the year without my week at La Costa at the spa. And I'm sure that's exactly what Greg's doing. Except without all the massages, because he's not comfortable having strangers touch him. <laughs> Gee, I wonder whose fault that is. <laughs> Here you go. Perhaps this will be more to your liking. <laughs> this is perfect. You know, you're only on the second floor. The fall won't kill you. No, I'm, I'm not here to kill myself. I told you, I'm on a voyage of self-discovery. I see. Shall I call down to the pro shop and get you a tea time? Uh, these. I, I thought maybe I'd uh, swing by Pebble Beach, but then I, I realized that's the old Greg, you know, filling my time with golf and work so I don't deal with my real issues. Fear of failure, constant need of validation. Good for you. Thank you. <laughs> Anyway, I just didn't want to leave the clubs in the car. You're staying here when you got a car you can sleep in? You know, I, I, I considered that, but this seemed uh, more gritty, more like the, the kind of place where desperate souls have struggled to find meaning in their lives. Uh-huh. That shower rod won't hold your weight. I'm not here to kill myself. I want to believe you. <laughs> is, is there a phone? Down the hall. But most people just pin a note to their shirt. commitment. I'm the guy who cut off Hootie and the Blowfish just so he could become the woman you wanted him to be. Um, is there another phone around? I'm almost done. And who insisted I get the fancy deluxe boobies? <laughs> Not me. I wanted to go to the Hawaiian Islands. The, they're beautiful. The islands. <laughs> I want you to call me the moment you hear from him. You'll be my first call. Dama, I want to know where Gregory is. And that'll be the subject of my call. Good night. <laughs> you handled that very well. Thank you. I think I finally figured out the trick to these family meetings. Larry, you can come out now. You know, I don't want to make a big thing out of this, but I don't think it's right for you to send me out of the room for no reason. It's a timeout. It's called a timeout. <laughs> Larry's right, Abby. We shouldn't have done that. Okay, well, I forgive you. It's just kind of embarrassing to be sent out of the room like that. I understand. Larry, would you take these to the kitchen and clean them? Sure. Thanks. <laughs> How you doing? I'm fine. Oh, Dharma, you came out of my body. I can feel your suffering. <laughs> I'm not suffering, Abby. I'm fine. Whoops, sorry. 
Come on, it's me you're talking to. Honey, your soulmate disappeared. You don't know where he is. You have to acknowledge how you feel about that. No, Abby, really, I'm okay. I got it. <laughs> Maybe I should go help Larry. No, 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 no. Well, Larry has his work and you have yours. <laughs> this is a scary time, Dharma. No, it's not, Abby. Really, Greg's a grown man. He'll be fine. He can take care of himself, and when he's ready, he'll come back. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> Sorry. What are you afraid of? That I'm going to have to eat off banana leaves? <laughs> Dharma, if you name your darkest fear, it no longer controls you. Tell me what's the worst that can happen to Greg while he's gone. He'll be lonely. <sighs> Dharma. I don't know. Yeah. Then he'll reconsider his life and decide that he doesn't want me in it and I'll never see him again. <laughs> see, now don't you feel better? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Hey, is Dharma okay? Oh, she will be. It's a good thing we were here. Don't look at me. Okay, you know what? You can take that song to Motown, because we heard it before. Oh, yeah? Well, a lot of men would be very happy to have me, because I'm special. No, 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 no. You, you, you made your point really well. You think? Yes, you're a, a very special person and any one would be happy to have you. You're so nice. Don't look at me, my mascara is running. You, you, you look fine. You think so? I don't have raccoon eyes. It, it, it's perfect. You look beautiful. Do you know the last time Anthony told me I look beautiful? It's probably been too long. <laughs> It was the day we tried out for the Yankees. Hi, Dharma. Honey, why are you crying? I don't know. Part of it is because I'm happy. I, I don't know who she is. Trina. Uh, Trina. Um, honey, I just I, I wanted to call so that you wouldn't worry about me. You called just because you didn't want her to worry? <gasps> oh, honey, whatever he did, you take him back. I didn't do anything. Oh, well, then why is she crying, Mr. Innocent? Give me the phone. I'm so glad you called. Where are you? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. Okay. Got it. Uh, no, I promise I won't tell your parents where you are. Greg, I can handle your mother. What's she going to do, torture me? <laughs> really? <laughs> okay. I love you too, honey, and I'm very, very proud of you. Okay. I'll talk to you then. Bye. Okay. He's fine. See, we're getting all worked up over nothing. <laughs> I know. Time out. Who is it? It's me, Trina. Remember, you said I was beautiful? It's kind of late. Please, you have to let me in. It's a matter of my life or my death. Um... There's a, a phone right behind you. Maybe you should call the police. Open the door! <laughs> okay, my boyfriend's gone crazy, so here's the plan. I'm gonna get into bed with you for like five minutes. He comes in, he sees us, we're together, we're happy. He says, okay, he leaves. Uh, that's a terrible plan. Well, what's your plan? I don't have a plan. Then how can you criticize mine? <laughs> If I find you, I'm gonna kill you! That's him. I figured. Drop dead, you rat bastard! No man calling. Trina! Open the door, I'm gonna break it down! You're not mad enough to break it down! No, don't say that! Ah! All right, now back off. You, you, you're not gonna lay a hand on
hand on her. Who's he? This is my lover. We're together now and we're very happy. <laughs> Take good care of her. That's it? That's how you fight for me? That's how you kill for me? Hello, hello. Kitty, what a surprise. Well, I told. I know, and I told you not to come, and here you are. Surprise. <laughs> Dama, this is very difficult for me, but I need your help. I can't tell you where Greg is. I promised him. Oh, that's all right. I don't need to know. Oh, okay, I know what you're doing. You tell me you don't need to know, and then I don't tell you, and then you... What are you doing? May I share a little family secret with you? Is this about why you're not allowed at Neiman Marcus? You didn't know. No, because I heard you roughed up one of those perfume squirt girls. No, this is about Edward. When Edward was a very little boy, the only time that he spent with his father was a fishing trip that they took once a year. And when his father died, Edward took those fishing poles, he put them away, and he said, I am never going fishing again. That's so sad. But when Gregory was four years old, he found those fishing poles and he took them and he said to his father, Daddy, I want to go fishing. <laughs> and they went. No, no, not that year. Because Edward was being audited. But the next year and every year thereafter, my little boy took his daddy fishing. <laughs> Until now. Because Greg's gone. Exactly. And you won't tell us where he is, so... I feel terrible! Edward has put the fishing poles away. He put them away! <laughs> so I, I, I think you know what you have to do. Yes. I have to take Edward fishing! <laughs> Sakes, forget the damn fishing. Where is Gregory? Greg's fine, Kitty. It's Edward we have to worry about. <laughs> so uh, I figured, uh, what better way to uh, go on a, excuse me, <laughs> voyage of self-discovery than to get a real working man's job? You know, a kind of Cannery Row Steinbeck thing. Squid to shoot! At first, I was going for a Hemingway old man in the sea uh, fishing boat experience, but I get a little uh, queasy on open water. I'm, I'm, I'm good in a pool. Anyway, uh, uh, here's my uh, resume. Resume? Yeah, that's uh, uh, Bobby's some special skills. Job history and education's on the other side. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking I'm overqualified. Well, not unless they taught you how to clean squid at Harvard. <laughs> Well, no, not per se, but I did have an economics professor who made you feel like you were cleaning squid, if you know what I mean. <laughs> not important. What is important is that I'm here, I'm able-bodied, and I'm willing to start at the bottom. That's good. Because as you can see here, all our executive positions are taken. Are you sure this is going to work? It works for bears. <gasps> Time you saved me. Oh, oh so long, uh, lunch. <laughs> oh God, this is nice, huh? Mm. Mm. You bet, Greg can't be here. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <Ow>. <laughs> to tell you the truth, I'm kind of proud of him. Taking some time to figure out what he's doing with his life, man. He's really got to have a certain kind of wife to do that. <laughs> Thank you. Freshie? Tessie. Hey, you know what, Edward? I gotta tell you something. In all the time that I have known you, I had no idea you were so much fun. Hey, I put the F-U in fun, little lady. <laughs> at home. Oh, you're not supposed to be like this at home. That's what fishing trips are for. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. 
<laughs> you shouldn't confine your bliss to one weekend a year. No, 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 no. It's not just one weekend. When Kitty takes her spa week at La Costa, I run around the house buck naked. <laughs> what about the maid? She tends to take that week off. <laughs> Squint the shoot! Okay, Harvard, when you're done here, I want you up in processing. Up? Is that like a promotion? It's a whole new tax bracket. <laughs> is he kidding, or, or is it really a promotion? Not important. <laughs> it's about the work. He did say, huh? Oh. Who is it? It's me, Trina. The brunette from next door. I borrowed your dustbuster. Oh, that Trina. Thank you very much. I empty the thingy. Uh, Thanks. Most people don't. <laughs> Most people are animals. <laughs> you used to be a lawyer, right? Yep, but uh, that was the old Greg, the false Greg. Now I'm just being the best darn squid skinner I can be. I, I got promoted today, I think. Good for you. Can I tell you something? I, I, um, uh, I requested a non-smoking room. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I grew up in Puerto Rico, but I wasn't happy there. So then I moved to New York. Same thing. Then I came out here. I meet Anthony. You saw him. He's a dreamboat. <laughs> but I'm still not happy. So, I go to the doctor. Snip, snip, snip. There I am. I'm beautiful. <laughs> I got a tight little tummy, but that's not from the operation. That's from the tie bone. And, and your point is? I'm still not happy. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. I changed locations. I changed jobs, but I'm still the same guy. A journey of self-discovery is not external, it's, it's internal. Whatever. <laughs> my question is, I cut off my PP for Anthony and now he doesn't want me, so can I sue him? Cause he got a ton of money from a fake car accident. I don't know, what, do you have any evidence? <laughs> Come on, puppy. You don't save them in a jar like tonsils. <laughs> hey, boys. Oh, my God, Greg. Greg? Honey? Honey? Greg? Hey! <laughs> Oh, God! I miss you so much! I'm missing you! <laughs> Are you back for good? Oh, yeah. Ugh. Dharma, mm. this was such an amazing trip. I learned so much. Really? <laughs> like what? Well, I didn't have to go somewhere to start a voyage of self-discovery. I could start right here. Or? No, you could start right here. Yeah. What if I start here? Oh, uh, then I would start right here. Oh. <laughs> Wait a minute, I don't understand. Why did you go fishing with my father? Because he was sad that you weren't here for your annual fishing trip. What annual fishing trip? Yeah. Every year, you, your dad, fishing. Dharma, we've lived together for two years. Have you ever seen me go fishing with my father? Who are you calling? I got up in the middle of the night, drove five hours just to drink beer and throw up all over your dad's Mercedes. Kitty? <laughs> Hi, it's Dharma. You know, I was thinking, and you're right. You're his mother, and you deserve to know where he is. Do you have a pen? <laughs> Gregory, open the door, dear. Who are you? It's none of your business. <laughs> It so happens that Greg is a very good friend of mine, so I'm making him my business. I am his mother. Oh, I heard about you. Let me ask you a question, Mommy. Can a woman wear white to a wedding if she wasn't a virgin when she still had a penis? Gregory, open the door, dear! 
idea. Ball and chain is gone away. Do da, do da. Drink martinis naked day. Ah, do da day. 